So for magnitude plot, we have seen this table uh, that uh, the slope of 1 upon j omega term is minus 20 dB per decibel and it starts from 0 0.01 to 1 then the resultant slope for this term will be minus 20 initially plus uh, minus 20 that is minus 40 dB per decade and it starts from 1 till 10 and then the for the third term uh, 1 upon 1 plus j omega by 10 the resultant slope is this minus 20, minus 40 plus this minus 20 for this term that is minus 60 dB per decade and it starts from 10 and ends at infinity. Now let us uh, now let us uh, see how to plot it on the semi log graph paper. Okay, so why it is semi log? Because one axis is logarithmic and another is your normal, right? So I will tell you how to plot it. So uh, initially I have marked the scale, right? I have marked the uh, frequency. Let us start from 0 0.01 into 10, 0 0.1 into 10, 1, then 10, then into 10, 100, 1000, and so on, right? So this is your x-axis. Now on y axis I have taken 0, 20 dB, 40 dB, 60 dB and on uh, negative axis minus 20, minus 40, minus 60 and so on, right. Now let us uh, put some reference lines, okay. So let us say that uh, if I want minus 20 dB, right, uh, my slope is minus 20, minus 40, minus 60. So how to draw the, uh, first of all I will draw the reference slope lines, right. So I will use uh, for minus 20 dB, um, I will use uh, this line. This is the thickness of the line. Okay, so minus 20 dB means what? Let us suppose this is one decade from 0 0.01 to 1. This is one decade. So this is the slope of minus 20 dB per decade. Then uh, by red color, okay, this was okay. Now again, I will select this line. I will choose red color and then I will write. I will join this point to. 40. So this is what in one decade this is minus 40 dB per decade right and for 60 dB again I will choose this and then this is your green color is your minus 60 dB right. So now these are your reference lines. This line is having slope of minus 20 dB per decade. This line is having slope of minus 40 dB per decade. This line is having slope of minus uh, we can say uh, how much uh, 60 dB per decade. Okay. Now what I need to do? Uh, what is the thing that from 0 0.01 to 1 end point is 1? The slope is minus 20 dB per decade, right? So at this point, I have 20 dB per decade. So what I need to do? I need to draw a line. What slope I want? I sl see from zero to this point. From zero to this point, what slope I want? I want now. This is your corner frequency. I want the slope of minus twenty dB. So I will draw the line which is parallel to this line. Okay. So I will choose the same color of oh, sorry. minus sixty. Okay. So, <clears throat> from this point, I will draw a parallel line, right. So, this line is parallel to, this, this line is parallel and this, the slope of this line is what? The slope of this line is, you can say, yes, it is minus 20 degrees per decade, okay. So, I just insert a text box here. So this line is having minus 20 dB per decade, right. So this line I have drawn, okay, which is having the slope of 20 dB per decade, okay. Now uh, from our table, we have, from our table, we have from corner frequency 1 to 10, what slope we are having? We are having minus 40 dB per decade, okay. So now 
what I will do, I will just draw a line. I will draw a line which is again this parallel to this red line, and red line is having slope of minus 40 degree per decade, right? Draw a line which is parallel. Okay, from here to from here, I will start drawing the line which is parallel to red color line, which indicates till what point? Till this 10, because we want the slope from the decade is from the values is from 1 to 10. So I will draw a line which is having which is parallel to this red color line because this line is having 40 degree slope. So this will all, obviously it will also have 40 degree slope, right? So again, I will insert. So this this line is what this is minus forty dB per decade. Okay, and then uh, yeah, then from ten to hundred, what is the frequency? Oh, sorry, what is the slope from ten to hundred? What is the slope? The slope is from ten to hundred. The slope was from ten to infinity. In fact, the from 10 to infinity the slope was minus 60 db per decade so again what i will do at minus 60 db per decade is your green color line so i will just draw a line which is parallel to the green line which indicates the slope of minus 60 db per decade and this will in this will go on up to infinity right so yeah and is your slope which indicates minus 60 db per decade so in fact this is your in fact this is your what uh, like this you need to plot the magnitude graph okay so you you just have to plot it on semilog graph paper as i don't i was not having the semilog graph paper so i have used this kind of setup uh, anyway so the thing is that yeah so uh, now see i will give you the directly the solution which is directly printed so we have seen the same thing right but i have just drawn because uh, i have just uh, used that word because I, I i think that you should observe that how i have drawn and then you should be able to draw it right if uh, i i feel that if i would have explained you just by uh, this ready made graph right it would be difficult for you to understand okay so yeah so now what we have done we have plot the phase plot as well as magnitude plot right ye pehle teen reference line nikale uske baad mein fir humne dekha ki 1 0 0.01 right ye maine niche mark kar liya hai right niche hamara frequency hai 0.1 0.01 100 and so on and with respect to that i have drawn the phase plot and uh, magnitude plot okay so yeah, yeah, three lines here. I, I will use the roller scale for marking the parallel lines, right? If I want 20 db slope um, from um, yeah, if I want 40 db slope from 1 to 10, what I will do, I will draw a parallel line to this and I will just use the roller scale and I can draw the parallel line. So like that you can draw the uh, what you can say phase plot and magnitude plot. Okay. Now see. What is your phase crossover gain crossover? So gain crossover frequency is this, right? Because your magnitude uh, plot is crossing zero dB line at this point. So this is your what omega GC gain crossover frequency. So with respect to that, with respect to that, right? Plot uh, mark a point on this line and what is this height, right? What is this angle? So this angle is nothing but you need to see this line, yeah. So this is what this is one 120 and 150 between 120 one, 140 something right so 180 minus 140 so maybe it is something 42 degrees difference is there so this is your phase margin okay and then what is your gain margin so this phase plot is crossing minus 180 degree axis at this point so this is your phase crossover frequency so with respect to that we will take a point here and then what is this value height of this right so what is this value this is 0 db and this we need to observe what is this so this is let us say minus 20 and minus 
फोर्टी के बीच में आ रहा है कब कभी राइट सो लेट एस से दिस इज समथिंग थर्टी नियर अबाउट थर्टी सो इट इज गेन मार्जिन इज थर्टी थ्री ओके सो लेट एस डिस्कस वी हैव फाइंड व्हाट इज गेन मार्जिन एंड एज मार्जिन एंड देन व्हाट इज अर गेन मार्जिन सो योर गेन मार्जिन वॉज थर्टी टू डिग्री राइट फ्रॉम द प्लॉट एंड योर फेज मार्जिन इज वन एटी डिग्री प्लस या फाइव सो फाइव वॉज योर योर फाइव वॉज टोटल फाइव वॉज फोर्टी टू डिग्री राइट सो दिस दिस फाइव वॉज फोर्टी टू डिग्री यस फेज मार्जिन इज फोर्टी टू डिग्री सो Or directly you can take the value minus 38, right? And then 180 plus minus 38, it will come 42 degrees, right? So gain margin and phase margin, both the values are positive. Hence, we can say the system is stable. Okay. So for phase margin, uh, another way which they have used is uh, they have marked what is the value, right? And that value was, I guess, 138, right? And then uh, they have used the formula that again phase margin is what 180 degrees. Plus your five, five was minus one thirty eight, so it comes to be forty two degrees, right? So like this, we need to calculate gain margin, phase margin, and once we know the value of gain margin and phase margin, we can comment on the stability that the system is stable, right? Now these are some advantages of board plot because uh, so one of the advantages that um, both low and high frequency uh, we can show on one graph only because we are using logarithmic scale. Gain margin, phase margin, phase margin, right? Both can be obtained with minimal computation, right, from the board plot, and um, they can be constructed with ease with asymptotic approach, right? Uh, board plot indicate clarity, right? Relative stability of the system. We can comment, right? Uh, then data for constructing polar plot and Nyquist plot, right? Uh, of complex transfer function can be easily obtained from the board plot, right? then uh, frequency domain uh, specifications can be obtained easily from the board plot right uh, then the product term becomes addition because we are using logarithmic plot it is possible to represent approximately and exactly function plot by straight line asymptote stability of uh, open loop transfer function can be determined by using this board plot yes by using gain margin phase margin the transfer function of the system can be obtained from board plot and uh, yeah means if we know the board plot right we can uh, vice versa we can uh, find what is the transfer function of the system and then you uh, th there will be some problems in gate if you are appearing for a competitive exam the problem will not be like plot the board plot for the following transfer function but the board plot will be given for uh, some transfer function and we need to identify what is the transfer function Use of semi-block graph paper eliminates the need of actually to take logarithmic or of very small number and also expands the low frequency range, which is of important, right? So these are some advantages of board plot. So here, uh, this is the end of uh, half part of unit number four. Then polar plots and Nyquist plots are there. This will be discussed.